good Saturday morning, everybody. So I didn't vlog on Friday. I feel like I haven't vlogged for longer than that. I feel like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday because I wasn't really feeling that great. Um, I was feeling a bit rough after my iron infusion, but I'm feeling a little bit better today. Tom and I are gonna go do something today. Not really sure what we're doing yet. We were talking about going to sit along the beachfront and then go get some like frozen yogurt or something. So I might do that. I'm wearing black jeans with this just like plain white top with like some like lines on it and my trusty old oversized winter coat jacket. I don't know. I saw some people commenting like it's not cold in Australia. It's like 60 degrees or something, but when I said about my winter coat the other night, it was literally like two degrees outside, which I don't know what that is in like Fahrenheit because I know Americans use Fahrenheit. Let me convert it because it's winter for us right now. 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So whatever that is in American, 35, if that's cold to you, well, that's cold for me. Two degrees is cold for us. It was freezing. So that's why I had my coat. And those of you that said it wasn't hot here, well, Clearly, you're not living where I'm living because that's what it was where I live in the suburb where I live It was two degrees. It was really really cold. I don't know why I feel like I have to keep explaining myself I shouldn't have to. If you guys want to have a big whinge in the comments, go ahead. Anyway, I hope you guys are well I love you guys so so much. I'm just making sure I've got everything. My asthma has been playing up Ever since I got my flu jab and it didn't really click to me until my friend said Hey, did your asthma play up after your flu jab? And it actually has, but also it's getting colder. It always like is a bit worse during the winter time anyway. It could just be that, to be honest. And, oh, I need to put my splints on. I knew I was forgetting something. Also guys, these are an absolute essential for me when I'm going out of the house. They are the Hot Seas heat pads. They're very similar to the ones that I got from Poundland. Obviously when I go back to England, I will be stocking up on those because these are like $20 for 10 or something like that, which is still okay. Plus for 14 hours and this is what it looks like on this is like a one that's in the packet just get one that i put in my pants looks like this and the back does come off so it is sticky but i absolutely cannot leave the house without one of these because my stomach hurts all the time so this is a must if i'm not using it for my stomach i'm using it for somewhere else i always usually have one of these on me it's very rare that i don't i'm ready to rock and roll i just need to put my splints on but i thought i'd share that with you absolute must for me so we've decided we're not going to the beach we're kind of going the opposite you might say we're going to the mountains and there's like a dam we i'm, I'm pretty sure we've been here before haven't we Oh, we did to a dam, not this this dam, but we went. We've done it. We've done a similar thing before. Where I'm pretty sure I vlogged it and stuff. So last time we did it, I w we went actually through the trail walks, which I at the time was not as bad as I am now, like with my joints and stuff. And I struggled a lot. I remember like the next day I was like in so much pain. So I'm pretty sure we're not going to be doing the trail walk. But it is nice to just go, and I think you can just drive up to the viewing section. You don't actually have to walk it, so that's a plus. And then we're going to like this cafe thing after, so. Yeah, it should be, should be a good fun little adventure because I feel like recently either Tom or myself have not been feeling that great during the weekend so we haven't really done much like this in a while so it'd be really nice I think. And it is a really nice day too, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Say what you just said. It's not about the dams, it's about the, the experience. <laughs> Basically, we've just come to the original dam that we wanted to go to, but the part where you need to go up to basically see the dam, you can't drive. Like, it says you're not allowed to drive up there. And it's too much of a steep incline and a trek in general for me to walk it or hike it. So we're going to go to another one, which is 15 minutes from here. And then Tom goes, it's all right. It's not about the dam. It's about the experience. The, so the drive. So got the scenic route. That. <laughs> <laughs> Gas mask located at Ranger's residence. Oh my gosh. Okay, on to the next one then. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what we said, it says road closed, pedestrians only, so you can only walk it, you can't drive it. On to the next down then. I don't know if you guys can see down there, but on the toilets, instead of male and female, they've got Adam and Eve. You can't see Adam, but you can see Eve from here. I thought that was quite funny. Then Tom made a good point, and he said said that uh, if you had like a foreign person that came and didn't like couldn't read English, like you wouldn't know that it said Adam and Eve. Like most people just have the little little symbols. So anyway, we took some amazing pictures. So go check Tom and I's Instagram. I'll pop them up on screen, and you can see 
what the pictures we took. There's some really cute ones, so go check it out. But if you want to go sometime, if you want to leave this town, baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now. Tell me if you want to go sometime. Yeah, we could be alone tonight. So we're home now, whoa that's super bright. Um, so I'm about to check my balloon, well I've just checked it but I just realised that it's meant to be 8 mils in there and there's only 4 or I think there's only 4 in there. I thought this would be interesting to put in my vlog and show you guys. On this part of the tube it's there's a balloon inside that basically when I pull it it stops it from falling out. So to check the water you just pop a syringe in and then pull back and you should see the water which is a little bit discolored but that's probably because it needs changing. Tom's just emptying a um, sterile syringe we're gonna use that to fill it up with. Well I want to draw back with that one as well because I can only draw back because it's four mils I want to see if I can draw any more back there. We'll discard that because it looks gross because like, it's been there for so long and then we'll just get some fresh and pop it in. Eight mils so you can do four and then we do another four. I might do a little bit just just a bit less than eight because I don't want it to like pop inside if there is some still in there. Are you feeling? Not really. I'm a bit bloated as well at the moment, so, so we'll put seven in. Because we know it's meant to hold eight, but just in case there is some residue in there, I don't want to overfill it. We should actually feel resistance, right? Yeah, it's starting to push back out, so I'm just going to draw back a bit more. Like, look, ready? So I'll just leave it at that. So what have we got in there? Four, five, six. We've got six mils in there. Because we went back and looked at my old discharge paper and it said on there that there was meant to be eight mils. And that's what the old water looks like. And it's meant to be clear. It's not meant to be discoloured. So it's been there since, or not August, since November. I'll get rid of that. Anyway, some interesting content for you. Not very interesting because you can't really see what it looks like outside of me, but you guys get the idea. Just watching Call the Midwife. Tom's playing FIFA. I've got a lovely hot vim oh I was about to say hot vimto, hot ribena, which is something I grew up drinking and I really really enjoy it when it's winter. So let me let me let me know guys so what's your favourite like winter drink to have. Mine's actually winter spice ribena, but we don't have that here, so just normal ribena it is. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what guys, I am absolutely cream crackered. I know I really haven't done that much today, but it's really really knackered me knackered me out, worn me out. I don't know what, what the word is anymore. I'm just about to do some meds. I drew them up earlier so because I, I was already feeling tired earlier. And I had to lie down for a bit, but I couldn't actually like get, get off to sleep. But anyway, I did my meds so then I didn't have to do them now. I want to show you guys like a little trick because most of you probably have these items already in your house. So one second. Oh, dear, I can't stop yawning. Well, I don't know why I brought this to show you, but if you have one of these and you have a giving set, these are the Nutrisha like containers, like bottles. These are like the one litre ones, but you can get ones that are much smaller than that. And then these are the gravity bags, which I just have been using to run fluids in, and I just basically turn the giving set show you what I mean. You basically just turn the giving set so that this part is pretty much completely off. When I run it, you basically only put it on just the tiniest bit, just enough to allow some of the fluid to come in. When you open a new, a fresh giving set, you actually get um, a little cap that comes on the end of it. And it looks something like what's on the end of these syringes at the moment. It either looks like that or it either looks like that. And you pretty much get them on any giving set. And they actually fit really well on top of syringes. So I've been using them to hold my little, the little things on top of the syringes. So then I can pack them in my bag and take them with me. So there I have my night meds. Every single medication I've managed to fit into 10 mils. And then I've also got a 10 mil flush as well. Uh, this is a much bigger syringe. This is a 60 mil syringe. This is only a 35 mil. So if you guys have any like giving sets or anything like that, then they should come with them on the end. I have just like the Nutrisha style ones. Like, this is just the gravity bag. This is handy for me because my pump doesn't let me feed on into my tube since it broke. Even five mils, like if it's trying to push it through the pump, it doesn't want to go into my tube since my tube kind of broke. It's semi working, but not enough to run feeds through my pump. But if I run it through the, the gravity set and I only turn the valve on the tiniest amount, it doesn't deliver me much fluids, but it's about keeping stuff going into the jedge and keeping stuff going into the body to keep, to make sure that your, you know, system doesn't shut down completely. You have to run a very small amount, like just to protect, protect your liver. So I've just been running banana bags, fluids. That's what the, the yellow stuff is. It's, it's not wee, don't worry. It's just like a IV nutrition, or not IV, um, like enteral nutrition. It's like hydrolyte. 
or Dyrella. I've just been running that into my Jedge as much as I can. So that bag has been up since Friday. It's now Saturday evening. Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd say that in case you guys didn't know. If you have NFIT syringes, if you don't, then I don't know. But I have NFIT syringes, so just thought I'd let you know. But anyway, I'm about to do my meds and set up my TPN and head to bed because I'm so tired. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. So I know I said I was gonna go to bed and I am. Um, my nose is red because I've just been blowing it with a tissue. I think I might be getting a cold, I hope not. But my nose has just been extremely runny today. But however, not why I'm vlogging. So you guys know a while ago that Tom has been having struggles with his nasal passages. And he refuses to go see a doctor about it. He's like, oh no, it's fine and stuff. But anyway, he's decided to do, he's decided that it's got bad enough again to do his little nasal rinse. So here I am documenting this fine, lovely experience. I've brought our family with us. I need everyone, thank you. <laughs> Can't believe that you get us proper sinus wash and I have to use syringes. It smells now. It's going to go up my nostrils. Yeah, but it's going to make you feel better. So, you know, that's what they say, like when you break a bone, it has to get worse before it gets better. Do they know? It's like when I get my surgery, obviously it's going to be worse. I'm going to be more in pain than I am now before it gets better, but then afterwards I won't be in as much pain as I am now. Do you get, oh, you get a bunch of sachets in there. Is it just one sachet? Yeah. Per nostril? Uh, well, so you do half in each side, like I did with me. <laughs> That's disgusting. You just gotta keep doing it. But like, if you stop, it's gonna be bad. Oh, good boy. <laughs> oh, my eyes as well. You're doing so well, Bubba. I know, it's not nice. Do you want me to get you some tissues? Yeah, I'll get the tissues. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, my poor Baba. <laughs> this is so hard with the pole. Surely if I just do it straight away and the other one, it's gonna push everything that's coming out to the end of that. No, it kind of doesn't really work that way. That's what I thought, but apparently. So no, what? Don't blow your nose? Or? No, don't blow your nose. You can just wipe around your mouth area if it's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> was this coming off the rail, off the wall? Our little bath railing has come off the wall. This is what's happened. Let me pick it up. Oh, horrible. Oh, Bob. Oh, my head hurts. Oh. You did so well, though. I'm really proud of you. Go and find your father if he's still there. I don't. I think they've gone to bed. I'll go and have a look in the garage. It looks like he's gone to bed. We've been left, left to fend for ourselves. This means we're adults. <laughs> we're not adults yet. We're young adults. I reckon just leave it until the morning and then you can watch dad fix it so then you know how to fix it when stuff like this happens when we get our house. So I've just got myself a drink and I'm all ready for bed and everything but I thought before I go to bed I'm going to show you my spread. I thought I'd show you what I did for next week. This was at the beginning of the month when we went to Holy Moly. I've stuck the school card in there because I thought it'd be a cute addition. So this is this week's which is pretty basic and then for next week I've done like a little door, a duck door again. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've got some tape at the car at the top and then you flip that and then it goes Thursday, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday is in June. So I do need to start June, hopefully early next week so I can put the Saturday and Sunday in because it'll be the first and the second of June. And then I've got on the back of Wednesday, I've got a little to-do list as well that needs to be done next week. So yeah, that's next week's spread. Really easy, quick and simple, but it also looks nice as well. So I've done that and that's all ready. I would say I'm probably about halfway through my journal. Maybe a bit, a little bit less than half. Can't wait to, to start my, this journal. This is gonna be next year's journal. It's got a little B. It's the same type of B that I wanna get tattooed, which is the Manchester B. And the pages are a lot thicker in this one. So I'll be able to do a lot more water color and stuff like that pens won't bleed through as easily so i'm so excited to start this journal and i think for, for june i'm gonna do a space themed um and i've got some pretty cool tapes that i want to use and i think it's there's a black sparkly one you can't really tell through the packet but I thought like if i use like a copper and the black sparkling one it'll be very like space like uh, i think and i've also got a sparkly copper one i know you can't really see very well but i really can't wait to use those and i've also got a bunch of tropical kind of summery type of papers but i thought i could use some of that maybe but 
probably most likely use that towards summer but shout out to my sister i absolutely love these pictures of us and i miss her so much i wish we still lived together but we don't so look how long my hair was like i miss it so much and that was after it had been cut as well i've got my um electric heat pack and then i've got my uu hot water bottle which is down the middle between my legs but I've got like my weight blanket and everything in the perfect position so I can't show you but that's the UU bottle that I was giving away today which it, the giveaway closed today and the winner has been drawn so congratulations Carla um, so if you did enter I'm sorry but you can't enter now and the winner's been drawn but thank you so much to everyone that supported me and entered anyway onto the heat packs these are the travel ones that I showed you guys this morning the only bad thing about taking them off especially when I've stuck it to my skin is that it rips my skin when I try and peel it off and it's so painful like you can't see very well on camera but there's like a layer of skin that's been ripped off of this little strip here <laughs> it's really sore Does anyone else with eds like struggle with ripping their skin it's only been recently that this has started happening before then i was honestly like i can't recall like normally it wouldn't rip my skin like my same the same thing's happening with my pain patch is that when i take it off i'll have to show you when i take it off but it's like ripping my skin and it's like almost like sunburn like the way it's peeling away same thing's happening with my skin like i'll be washing my face with like an exfoliator and it rips like it tears that's why my skin is so like flaky i don't know if you guys have noticed recently but it's been a lot more i pe i kind of i've picked most of it off now but if i show you my nose you can see how it's like peeling almost like it's been sunburned and like on my cheeks as well that's just from washing my face like it's literally tearing my skin to wash it so i have no idea what's going on so if you guys could enlighten me in the comments <laughs> it would be greatly appreciated um but i'm gonna tired now guys so i'm gonna head to bed i love you guys so 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 much if you enjoyed this vlog please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see all you beautiful wonderful people in my next vlog I love you guys. Good night.